Okay, Job chapter 4, Job is still speaking, and he's going to answer the charges against him that he's a wicked man. He says, why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty? God sees it all. Do they not? Do they that know him not see his days? Some removed the landmark. They had violently taken away the flocks and the feed thereof. That's Job chapter 1 verse 14 and 15. Now he may not have his landmark removed, but his, his animals in the, in the feed and servants have been stolen. They drive away the ass of the fatherless and take the widow's ox for a pledge. Now he's answering to the charges again, chapter 22, 7 through 9. When he, when he was accused of, you know, you didn't help the homeless, you didn't help the widow, you, you sent people away without food, you just been rude, you, you made people naked. And he's discussing the wicked person, and it's not Job. He don't fit the classification. And they take the widow's ox for a pledge, and that's, that's uh, collateral. And they turn the needy out of the way. Get out of here, I'm not going to help you. And the poor of the earth hide themselves together. Behold, as a wild asses in the desert, go they forth to their work, rise and be times early for a prey, and the wilderness yieldeth fruit for them and for their children. They reap every one his corn in the field, and they gather the vintage of the wicked. Common everyday people, farmers, workers. They cause the naked to lodge without clothing. That's the one that charges. Job, you sent away naked. They, no, they, they, not me, not I. You falsely accused me. And they have no covering in the cold. Shivering. And we've got homeless here in Daytona Beach and in the ministries we had in Norwich, Connecticut, we met many of homeless people. And it's terrible to be homeless, but they had clothing. And here, they're freezing to death and there's been many cases like that. Especially up north where we, where we lived. They, not Job, they are wet of the showers of the mountains. These are not the wicked people, but these are the homeless. These are the people who have been afflicted by the wicked people. They live in the mountains. There's no covering. When it rains, they get wet. And embrace the rock for a want of a shelter. The only thing they can find to find a home is a rock. That's a lot of homeless people. Does the Bible speak about homeless people? Here it is. And they're homeless. Why is Job mentioning it? Why are they homeless? What is the homeless problem in America? What is the homeless problem in California that they're so upset about? Job says it's the wicked people. Did you get that? Don't give me that every American loves every other American. We love our, our brothers and sisters. No, you don't. Because there wouldn't be people on the side of the street. There wouldn't be people having a sign need a job I will work for money I will work for food you wouldn't see that and don't give me this Democrat where they oh we help the, the homeless we help the poor that yeah with other people's money not your own how many people homeless vets people who have served in our military for a full time and whether war or no peacetime or wartime, how many people could you fit in the White House or the Capitol building that your U.S. vets instead of being homeless on the streets? They pluck the fatherless, that's be the wicked, back to the wicked, they pluck the fatherless from the breast. That's a young child, young enough that he relies on his mother for, for milk, and they, they steal it. Stealing children. That happens in places in the world where the children are stolen. America today, I'm reading all these things with my friends on Facebook, and they're uh, 
not adoptions, but almost adoptions in malls and children are almost being taken. And then there are children who are being taken. And you're reading a lot about these children involved in the slave market of sex. Innocently pulled into that mess. Because why? The wicked person. A wicked person will look at somebody who's not here. I'm going to take that woman. I'm going to steal her off the street. And I'm going to lock her in my basement. And I'm going to give her very little. And I'm going to rape her. And I'm going to have all sexual pleasures I want with her. That was back in the, in the days of Judges. Where the man said, hey, take my wife and uh, I think it was another woman. Lot said, hey, take my daughters. That's wickedness. That's wickedness. Job hasn't done that. And take a pledge of the poor. And the aspect of that is what does a poor man have that he would have, pledged, have to give for a pledge for? There's a time in, it's either Ezra or Nehemiah. They come to the leader and said, We have mortgaged our land so we can eat. In the time of Joseph in the famine, we'll sell you our cows, we'll sell you our horses, we'll sell our land, we'll sell ourselves because we got to have food. It's a government taking advantage. They cause him to go naked without clothing. This is this is the result of the wicked man to the poor man. So what's the Bible word of meaning of naked? What's it say? Without clothing. That's scripture with scripture. There's some people, well, naked does not mean naked. Cause him to go naked without clothing clothing and they take away the sheath that's Ruth going out there taking barley taking wheat that she can bring home so the guy goes out he gets a sheath a barley or wheat and then comes the wicked man and said that's mine thank you and where is the wicked man in the government with this you go to work you work 40 hours and you get paid a certain rate every week. And when you get that paycheck, you have money stolen out of your paycheck by the government. And then you put money in there and say, hey, I'm going to have a security of money by the government. I really like that. And when you go get your security of the government, you find out that the government has stolen your security money and used it for other things. And when you go to an employer and you work for an employer, he says, hey, I'll give you a pension plan. You work for me. I'll give you this and that. And then you retire. And then you find out the company's bought and you lost all your retirement and you lost your pension. I know plenty of people like that. And the government allows them to keep going on with business way they're doing. Liars and deceivers. And they'll stand before God one day. That's the wicked. When a, when a wicked man tells a man, hey, if you work for me, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, I'll give you this, I'll give you that. And then when it comes time for that guy to get it, he don't get it. That is a wicked man that made that lie. And they're not punished. <coughs> Which make oil within their walls. And that was Judges 6.11. And tread wine presses and suffer thirst. Gideon's in the backside trying to get some wheat. For the enemy of Israel has come because Israel sinned against God. But here are poor people, and you know, we are going to an age and it comes back and forth and comes back and forth in America. But right now, some nation, some states and counties, it's illegal for you to collect rainwater. Where they say that that rainwater belongs to the government. And there's been many propositions that has been halted that... Pretty soon it will be legal for you to grow a garden in your backyard. That's in the works. And that's going to happen because you can't plant a garden and get a tomato in the garden if you can eat that tomato without the mark of the beast. So people are going hungry. The people are going homeless. And when they do do something, they don't have enough. Men groan, that's the first time that word shows up, from out of the city. And the soul of the wounded cry out. Man, it's just persecution. It's just you're living under a burden and all the just troubles and, and all despair of living in the world. 
yet God layeth not folly to them. God doesn't make no charges to him. God does not destroy the wicked man. When a man's been deceived of his wages, God doesn't send a lightning bolt down. But that doesn't mean that God does not take care of it completely. There's coming a judgment for the Christian, the judgment seat of Christ, and for the, uh, for the uh, lost man, the great white throne judgment, and all will be judged there. Right or wrong. They are, they are the wicked. They are those that rebel against the light. John chapter 3. The light of God. They don't want to be seen. They do things in secret. They know not the ways thereof. Jesus says, I am the way. Nor abide in the paths thereof. And when Jesus came and said, cast your yoke upon me, my burden is light. And he's talking about the religious people of the time of the Jews. The religious people, the Sadducees and the scribes and the Pharisees, have put such a burden on the people. You know, Miss Widow, your husband's dead. You know, he's in purgatory right now. You pay us a certain amount of prayers for us to pray your husband out of purgatory, but you got to pay us. And you got to pay for the candles, and it has to be our candles you have to buy. So you can have that light that will get him out. And then it gets to a point where they can't afford it no more. Extortion. And yet, when a priest family dies... He's not extorted to, to pay the other priest for the money. It's wicked. The murderer rises with the light, killing the poor and needy, and the night is as a thief. The murderer is killing people right in the, light, right in the middle of the light. And remember, murder doesn't have to be you take a gun or a knife and kill them. It could be just your mouth. It could be you not helping them. Lazarus laid at the outside of the gate of the rich man and he just survived on the garbage and the dogs. And night is a thief. When they come in the middle of the night, they steal and rob. The eye of the adulterer waited for the twilight. Wait for it to get dark. In Hollywood, in America, it's all the time, anytime, portrayed on the screen, saying, No eye shall see me. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, behold the evil and the good. And disguises, that's the, first, that's the only time that word shows up, his face. He changes his face, he puts on a mask, he puts on makeup. And they're doing that at churches today, face painting. And we're doing skits for BBS. We're disguising ourselves, telling we have another name. And then, you know, for a little Patrick plays and stuff like that in the church. Disguising yourself. Dressing up to be like Mary. That dressing up and disguising yourself, it has no good condemnation in the Bible. Jezebel painted her face. So what do churches do? We have a face painting. Hi, Jezebel. In the dark, they dig through houses. They break into houses. And today, crimes happen in the daylight, which they have marked for themselves in the daytime. They go in the day, they look at the house. Oh, look at that. They got a lot of stuff there. I can see through the windows. They got, I can, oh, they got a big screen TV. They got a nice car out there, too. They got some good, that house has got to be worth something. And somehow they mark that house, and then they'll come back at night. Now, I was told, and I found uh, by my grandparents during Depression, the bums and the hobos and people who were down and out would mark your house. Opposite, you know, if you go to this house, they will help you. They will give you something of, of aid and help. And somehow, and I, they never told me, but there was a way to mark your house. There are thieves who will mark your, your house. To tell other thieves or remind them themselves, this house, oh boy, did I swindle them. And they keep track, somehow, some way, of signs and ledgers and all that, 
on the house, on the, on the fence pole, or however they do it, but these things have been told. And it reminds him and it tells other thieves or other, hey, this is what this house is good for. So the Bible's correct. They know not the light, God, Jesus. For the morning is to them the shadow of death. Uh-oh, can't do my crime. I can't sin. Daylight's coming. Sun's coming out. I'm going to get caught. If one knew them, they are in the terrors of the shadow of death. That, that would be, you know, your house broke in. All right, you go down to the police station, they have a lineup. And they got a whole bunch of people standing there. And you pick out the one you think. And if you know that person that's standing in that line in that lineup, that's the one that, that did crime against you. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. And the shadow of death would be also to the fact that it's Bible capital punishment. Woe to be the person that can recognize their Italian. He is swift as the waters. Waters are quick and destructive. I've seen waters in the time of snow melting and, and rapids. And just, I've seen take full work sheds down in the path of the river. I've seen just take everything that's been in backyard and just sweep down the river. Destructive and stealing. Their portion is cursed in the earth. The earth is cursed from Adam. He beholdeth, that's the first time that word shows up, not the way of the vineyards. He's not going to go get a job. Remember what Jesus said? There was a man that owned a vineyard. He went out and hired people. And he went back and hired more people. And he went back and hired more people until the end of the day. These guys are not going to go out and get a job. They're going to rely on crime as their job. Ruth went out and got what she could from the surplus of the of the reapers of Boaz. Drought and heat consumes the snow waters, true, and does the grave those that so does the grave those which have sinned. And the wages of sin is death. As nature happens that Heat melts the snow, so sin will get you in death. The now we're going to look at death. Womb shall the womb shall forget him. Eventually, within time, the Lord tarries. You will be forgotten. Tell me. Give me a name of all the children of Cain. And yet, we only have one name, Enoch. What are the rest of them? Who knows? Tell me the name of your, your fifth grand great grandpa. Many, I don't know. You know? Who was your mother's best friend? I don't know. Soon to be forgotten. The worm shall feed sweetly on it. This is one thing the Bible tells you after you die, you're going to have worms. They're in your body. You've got organisms in your body waiting for you to die. So they can feast on you. He shall be no more remembered. And the people try to, you know, we're going to name this road after you. We're going to name this thing. And they try to go against the Bible. But if you die lost and go to hell and end up in the lake of fire, you have no name. That rich man that Jesus told about was never given a name. Lazarus went off in Abraham's bosom and then would go off into glory. We know his name. Any lost man that dies and goes and is in hell or is going to hell will have no more name and God won't know him and you won't know him. unsaved relatives that go off in lake of fire we will not remember who they are in glory yet Christians just ratify and glorify that they don't realize 
And the, and wickedness shall be broken as a tree. Some of the day there'll be no more wickedness in glory. There'll be the tree of life. The tree of life that Adam and Eve could have said, hey, let's take that one. But they took the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We won't find that tree of the good of knowledge of the knowledge of good and evil. We won't know evil anymore. The, he all right, he evil entreated, that's the only time that word shows up, the barren that bear not. That was Eliphaz's uh, wife, Hannah's, I don't know what you call a wife to, a, to the second wife, but her husband's wife. She made her upset, she made her cry, she made her angry, she made her uh, sorrowful because I got children, you don't. And doeth not good to the widow. You're not helping the widow. Now Paul writes to Timothy. Say listen. If there's a widow indeed. And she has the characteristics of what, what Paul wrote to Timothy. And there are certain regulations. Then you're to take care of her. But she must not have any family. She must then serve God. She must be loyal to God. She. And there have been widows throughout, and we read them in the Bible. God had Elijah take care of one widow, and she was a Gentile. Because she's probably faithful. You find Anna. She's in the temple. She, her husband has died. And what she's doing is she would be the prayer warrior. There's a widow that Jesus said, hey, look at all these people casting money in there. That widow right there, she gave all she had. She loved the Lord. And the law prescribes the Jew to take care of the widows and fatherless. There was no social security plan back then. If her husband died, there was going to be no security check from the government. And the only thing women knew back then is how to take care of the household. How to feed their family. How to take care of the children. You couldn't get a job like that. Not back then. You're either farmers or you're husbandmen or... He draweth also the mighty with his power. That's the wicked. He gets more wicked people with power. So he can have his power. And he bribes and scams and schemes. So he can be on top. And he will have laws that will help him. And not others. He rises up. And no man is sure of his life. There have been. People have gone into the power of government. When Haman came into the power and was given that authority, all the Jews were put into, and they had a date. It's coming time we're going to die. That date is closer and closer. That man has signed a decree. We're dead. There's a time with Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party. If you were a Jew, uh, it's getting close. There have been Russian rulers where there's been death. There's been all kinds of rulers, death. <coughs> Though it be given him, the wicked, to be in safety. Whereon he resteth, he rests upon safety. Yet his eyes are upon their ways, not the way. But on the ways of these people that can help him out. And give him more power. They are exalted for a little while. That's what it comes to me. The wicked are exalted for a little time. Maybe 70, maybe 80, maybe 100. Sure is not 200 years. Guaranteed not 200 years today. But are gone. Death. Or brought low. Either they die. Okay, that's it. He's gone. Or... There's been a coup, there's been an overthrow, he's been fired, or whatever it is. It, all right, he's no more in power. He's out of office. They are taken out of the way as all other. And he, this, here's this big wicked guy. Here's this big guy with, with evil influences. And he fell just like any common man. I mean, when you look at the human being, and these people exalt themselves. Listen, you got to eat like I got to eat. You got to drink like I got to drink. And you got to go potty like I got to go potty. And you're going to die. 
And the Bible says, as far as all men, whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever sex you are, whatever race you are, the wages of sin is death. For all have sinned. That's all of us. And cut off as the tops of the ears of the corn. Okay, this is not corn as in kernel of corn. This would be wheat and barley. That's where the fruit is. If it be not so now, right now, who will make me a liar? Make my speech nothing worse. All right, after all I said, who's going to make me a liar? Who's going to show that I'm wrong? Job speaking. We're going to look at 25 1 real quick. Then answer the bell that the true eye. I'll make, I'll tell you you're wrong. I'll tell you you're wrong. And Job is just, just can't get any relief. 